we had to make it quick in the States, else we wouldn't get a record deal because there was so much import. We were on the charts by just being imported from Europe. And everybody said no again. We got a no, 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 no from everybody over there. And uh, then uh, suddenly Arista Clive Davis uh, came into the picture. I can't recall exactly what he said, but I remember something like, you know, uh, Kel, I want that record, you know, and uh, or that band, you know. The first time we went flow over to New York, you know, a lot of big cars, and big houses and everything. Like, our tongues were out of the limousine's doors, like, oh, gosh, it's huge. And uh, we stopped at Arista and we met Clive Davis. He wanted more material and he also wanted us to do a cover. Uh, for us, the compromise, we, we didn't want to do a cover, but it was a compromise for us to make him happy. And we made um, uh, two songs called uh, Don't Turn Around, Living in Danger, for the uh, US version of the first album. When you're doing covers, you always have the original version in the back of your head, and it's always a challenge to you know, break that. Don't turn around, Clyde Davis liked the songs. He really liked the songs. I think this is it. Now we have a very good album. Let's go for it. And the number one new artist is... And the award goes to... And the number one single of the year is... Ace of Base. Ace of Base. Ace of Base, the sign! We'd like to thank the producers especially Dennis Pop and Douglas Carr for helping us making this single. And of course, record companies, um, our parents, the radio for supporting us, and of course, our fans to buying the record. Great, thank you. Thank you. Gemeint sind ihre Landsleute von der Gruppe Ace of Base. Ace of Base. Ace of Base. Welcome to Ace of Base. Alex from Sweden, welcome Ace of Base. Con Ace of Base para todos ustedes. Ace of Base on the. But now from Sweden, Ace of Base with a new entry at seven. The sign. situation becomes so huge. It took, you know, months to just make a simple decision. 19.00 filming TV special. Sjuk morgonen, skojar de här Bang on target, pal. Alf, Lynn, Jenny, Jonas and what do you know? At that moment, I guess you were in like a, th a, a tunnel. A lot of things happened all the time. Nobody, nothing impressed you very much. I liked the success in, uh, in Europe. But after that, um, I guess my interest for everything was, was lost there. As an unknown uh, band and suddenly being uh, popular all over the world and being transported in with limos and best hotels, etc. Of course, you as an artist, you, you are uh, suddenly in, in the middle of something completely else of what you're used to. The first album we did promotion for more than two years in a row. Fancy we were home maybe two days there, one day there, three days there, and we were out ten days, fourteen days. It was crazy. My name is Newman from Hong Kong, from here. 
I'm from the record company. We sell a lot of ASOB records. <laughs> you heard that? Yeah, you're number one over there, and your album has sold um, eight times platinum in the States, and blah, 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 you know? All the strange. I mean, to sell platinum at all in the States is totally wild to each person. Like eight times, you, you couldn't handle it. In the second album, we had no time for, for preparation and a lot of time in the studio. In the first album, we had a lot of time for preparation and no time in the studio. It was totally different. We didn't have any time between coming back from all the promotion we did for more than two years and starting to do the new album. So we were a little bit tired of each other. To, to, we, just, we needed some air. We did four tracks on the second album, and two of them was written by the girls, by Elin and Jenny. So that was the first time we worked with, so we worked very close with them on those two songs. I had really to deliver my things. I had to pick pictures in another way for the album. I had to, to write things that is going to be, be printed in the album before I didn't have that responsibility. I wanted some uh, old friends who are producers at a very low level. I wanted to give them the chance to be on this record, but uh, things didn't turn out at all as I wanted to, and there was no time to redo it. So it's, it's taught me a lot about how you're supposed to uh, act when you, when you are in position of commanding the ones that you're working with, that you have to command as well. Their songs meant really a lot to them. I mean, especially the, the lyrics and the words and stuff. So in, in their cases, I think, we had to be really you know, open-minded and listen to what they wanted to say about it. To our ears, it was actually a better record, uh, more varied in terms of music. It was perhaps a little bit less commercial than the first one that was sort of simpler, more pop-oriented. Arista, Polygram, EMI, all the different countries were saying, maybe a little bit, how they thought the group should be, how they thought the next record should be. Uh, I think the, really the band and Mega should have done the same thing as they did. This is how we see the album. This is your finished album. The album has some really potential hits on it. And I think the singles should be bigger than it was. So I can only blame it on the timing and all the... Con uh, yeah, things around it. Lucky love belongs in Sydney, Sheva, and I know, I know. I'm a Det var inte en klassisk dokumentär. Det är så första gången vi uppträder vid tre tv med sån. I never realized if I if I pushed Lynn with saying, "Hey, we, let's do that," and she said, "No, I got the the main responsibility for singing, so I can't do it." And I understood the pressure that she'd. I mean, if she doesn't do it good. The whole group looks like like nothing. It's nothing to have. I mean, she she didn't even get any time to breathe during the first album, and she got a lot of the responsibility because she was singing most of the songs, and the spotlight was most on her. Uh, Lynn doesn't want to be in the spotlight as much. No, she wants Jenny to be that more. I think it's a good good move both as a person and for the, for the performance. I'm not quitting. That's the point. I want to sing. And uh, Jenny wants to try what I have done. 
And I want to try what she has done, you can say. I saw a Jenny I never seen before when she took the step to the front. She was incredibly strong. She did it so well. Uh, and I was so impressed. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. How I prepare myself is I'm, I'm, I'm doing everyday works, educating myself to know what I want, to go out on a stage and I know what sounds I want, what I, where I want th things to be. I've been very much struggling to get uh, my confidence back in singing because it was all broken and it was so painful. I mean, now it's not painful, it's more like, well, let's wait till you see what I got. Tu vas chercher ton cœur. Si tu l'emportes ailleurs. Je recherche à ton cœur. Si tu l'emportes ailleurs. Même si dans tes danses, entre dans tes soeurs. Yeah, 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 yeah. This strong gets more. 